um, the Celtic culture, you know, was pretty cool for us because, um, first of all, our previous guitar player, Marcel, he used to play in an Irish band. And he joined the Zuidaka, so he brought this influence into the band. And uh, the Celts, they were settled all over Europe, also to the Alps. So uh, we still kind of co feel connected to the culture, even though we are not from Ireland, you know. So um, we were not that interested in German mythology I, for some reason, I can, cannot tell you why. But uh, for us, it's pretty cool because the culture my mythology is so various. So you have uh, different uh, stories with. Uh, different atmosphere so for us it's a pretty cool way to combine our music um, with this mythology and uh, create also different concept albums uh, so you don't have the feeling that it all sounds the same. There is no, no special person in the band that have studied, I mean I studied history but it wasn't uh, the ancient history, it was uh, modern history. Uh, but, uh, it's more like, I don't know, personal interest, you know, so we just uh, did a lot of research, reading books, because this is like, like a hobby, you know, when you're just interested in something, you don't have to study it, you can just do the research on your own. And this was the way we just also did with Sudakra, you know, that was uh, pretty good. And uh, for us, we, our plan is not just to take Celtic stories and you know, just to re retell them, mm -hmm. because we also add some uh, fantasy into it to make it much more interesting, you know, this is, this is our plan. When we started with the band, we always were looking for some new inspirations and we wanted to keep the sound very various. And I always, I mean, I mean, the main thing in Zuidaka is metal, but I always uh, was interested in playing other instruments. So uh, we were lucky to find uh, the bagpiper. Then uh, I played banjo and mandolin and stuff like that. And I'm always looking for some new stuff in the future, you know, because just to, to make it still interesting. Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of the reasons reasons why it still makes so much fun after nearly 20 years and 11 albums. I mean, that would be a big dream, but the thing is that um, the real orchestra is too expensive, you know, so uh, I work uh, with libraries, even to record it, mm -hmm. you know, one day recording an orchestra, the cheapest is uh, 30,000 euros, so we cannot afford it, uh, but that will, will be a dream, maybe maybe some, somewhere in the future, but right now um, I just compose all the orchestral stuff at home with libraries, which is also real orchestra that has been recorded, but use it as samples, you know, so it gives me a uh, new inspiration because uh, when you just, uh, write music with orchestral, you have much more possibilities to do, you know, combine different instruments, because in a metal band you have only guitars, bass, mm -hmm. drums and vocals, and in an orchestra it's so rich of uh, different instruments, you know, so you have brass, strings and stuff like that, so it's a cool opportunity to, to reach for new distances in a musical way. I start to uh, deal with uh, orchestral um, songwriting a couple of years ago and I just read a lot of books and I'm also interested in, I'm, I'm listening to a lot of you know composers, uh, classical composers but also uh, film composers just to figure out you know which uh, part, which instrument parts you can combine and, and how uh, you just create a uh, symphony and stuff like that. You know, we used to do that when, at the beginning uh, when we started with the band. We just mix songs and stuff like that. For me, uh, right now, I found out for me it's more, much more interesting to do a concept album because uh, it's like writing music for a movie. Because you know, you have uh, this flow story that is going on, and uh, usually when we're just writing a new album, we have the story before the music. So I know uh, what to compose in every song, in which direction, and. Uh, it's kind of hard to compose it that way because you are not free to do whatever you want. You cannot say, oh, this riff is cool, let's take it, because sometimes it doesn't fit. So you have to do it, you know, directly, perfectly on the, on the story itself. But it's a cool challenge for me and I love the, this way of working. 
before we just start to writing a note, we just uh, pick one story, and after we have, we found the story, we just uh, divide the story into chapters. Mm -hmm. So when we have 11 chapters, that means we have to write 11 songs, and uh, then uh, we have a summary of every chapter, what's going on in the story, and I know, okay, it's all the music, this is going to be a ballad, because it's a love song, for example, you know, and this is how it works, yeah.